And Look, all of them, all, you all of them in Lagos, Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody when I'm talking, no. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up till now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I have not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are only, and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat I did not see. My money I did not see. I wanted to report him to Amadiona. He was testing the boats, wanting to want in the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still the lip now. That's the only person who won't pick I do go control. The dispute is real and the judgment is binding. This is the Justice Court. Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff Iwelu Augustine is asking the court to compel his tenant Obiora Sylvester to pay the sum of 339,750 naira overdue rent and vacate his apartment. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asalu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Augustine and Sylvester. That is one of them. Thank you. Why are you here? Okay, ma'am. Mr. Sylvester has been my tenant for about three months now. And uh, he has refused to pay my rent as a twin deal. Uh, each time I complain, I meet him for my rent. Is there he tells me the club is hard, he has businesses, he has school fees to pay all this and all that. So I went as far as meeting his, um, the person that witnessed for him on his agreement. The, we had several meetings and uh, the last one we had was uh, about August last year, which he agreed to pay me by December. So I allowed him to do the calculation based on his own standard. He agreed the, his calculation on the balance was uh, 339,750 which I have the screenshot on my phone. So when he got to December, I met him to pay. He said he doesn't have that. I took him, that I've already taken him to the justice court, that whatever I want to do, I should do that. When we get to the court, that uh, the court will be adjourned, and at the end of the day, I will have to settle it outside, and probably will be paying me for 5000 in short, at his own will. And uh, I was so weak. That's why I'm really here. And before now, he, has, he told me of his friend's incident that had an issue with the landlord. His, the man's name is um, Chima. He said Chima took his, land, uh, his landlord... I'm sorry, it's not took Chima to court, and at the end of the day, the matter was adjoined, adjoined, adjoined. At the end of the day, he didn't pay as a 20, they paid in change. So that stuff made me scared and all that. So I just felt, while I was going through the YouTube and all that, I saw the justice court, and I felt it's the right place for me to address my matter once and for all. Yes, ma'am. That's my case. Okay. Um, go ahead. Respond to what he has to say. Okay. Thank you, ma. Um, my name is Sylvester Obiora. And um, when he, his mother was alive, his mother was a very good member of our church, this particular church now. Uh, we took her as a mother. As a matter of fact, she was the one I discussed. You know, you are not here to talk about. I don't, I'm not here to listen to his family history. Wait, wait, wait. You are in court. Yes, ma'am. Be very, very, very cautious of whatever you say. The reason why you are in court, you know what it's about. Okay, ma'am. And that's what I want you okay, to strictly address. Okay, ma'am. Your Honor, ma'am. Okay. Now, the very day I came for that, that apartment with a man called... John, he never opened the gate for me to see the apartment, even before I made payment. And when he came to, when the apartment was later on, maybe next week or whatever, opened, the house was decayed. Let me ask a question. Are you a tenant the, in that premises? 
There was no tenant. The house was abandoned. You, did you become a tenant in that house? There was no tenant in that house before I came. I'm All asking that. you. I'm not asking. You have to listen. Just calm down and listen to my questions. Okay, ma'am. Because when I'm asking you A, you are talking about Sorry, D. Sorry, ma'am. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So you already have your, I don't know, mindset of what you want to say in court. I don't have anything against that. But when I ask my question, I want you to patiently listen to me okay. and address my I'm question. Sure, I said, were you a tenant in that premises? Yes, ma'am. When did you become a tenant in that premises? I was getting to three years now. Three years. Okay. Um, are you a yearly tenant? Do you pay yearly? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So when was the last time you paid rent? Well, that was last year. Last year, this last year, the I supposed to have balancing about fifty something thousand. Now. Okay, you've paid part of it, but you've not completed it payment. About fifty something thousand. Is that correct? Not true, ma'am. What's the position? What's your own position on it? My, he pays me as at when due, sometimes 10,000, 50, 20, and all that. So I can't really say he paid a complete year. Because when he paid... By your own calculation, how much is outstanding? 56, you said. It's not 56. One, I, the, due, the, the, the total money, 250, but I paid one nine something. That was last year. One, one nine something. So the figure should be about 50 something thousand. Yeah. That you are yet to pay. Yes. So, he's claiming that by his own record, he's owing you 56,000 naira. It's not true. In respect of the last rent he ought to have paid to you. And I asked you, by your own calculation, how much is outstanding? 339,750 naira. Okay. Now, I need proof. But, mommy, your honor, man, this house, I spent more than almost two years' money to repay it because he didn't open the house for me to see. The plaintiff, Iwelu Augustine, alleges that Obiora Sylvester has been defaulting on his rent payment and boasting that frequent court adjournments will frustrate the case if he was sued to recover what he owes. The defendant, Obiora Sylvester, claims the apartment was in a state of disrepair when he moved in and had to spend huge sums of money on repairs. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. You, I, now, let me get your story right. When you paid, what happened? Apart from payment, the money I used to repair this house, this house was damaged. He did not open the gate when I, I came the first day to see the, the nature of this house. Before you made payment? Yes. And when, when I came in, I understand spending. Wait, wait. Let me tell you the way it ought to be. Let me tell you. If. Just wait, I'll come back to that and explain it to me. If you pay, pay rent for a premises without citing what you want to use your hard earned money to pay for. Whose fault is that? And out after of making that... Out of no, so now wait. After you made that payment and you stepped into the house and you saw the state of the house, you had three options. First, demand for your money. Two, if you want to spend your money in the premises, sit down and have an agreement with them and you put it in writing both party signs okay. and you tell them that that money will be deducted from your subsequent rent that's what everybody does then the third option is take it as it is you spend your money on the premises and you decide to live in it by that and when you are leaving you pack your stuff and you leave that means you have taken it as it is so these are the three options that is generally basically open for any reasonable person to take position on. Either you reject the premises entirely, 
And you tell the agent, I want my money by all means. You get your money back. Or you sit the agent down. You tell the landlord, have your own quotation of repairs to be made on the house. At times, they will demand that they want to bring in their own person to give you the breakdown as well. You compare notes. At the end of the day, you agree on a figure. Then you drop an agreement. You both sign that the money will be deducted from your subsequent rent. If you don't do either of this, that means you've seen it, you are ready to take it as it is, and you are prepared to spend your money on it. You can't hold anybody responsible for that. Now he has a breakdown here. He's talking about 300 and something thousand naira. And you are telling me about 56,000 naira. The gap is wide. So I want you to take this back to the plaintiff. Show him. Let him see all the breakdown. Your calculation and reconcile. Give it to him. Okay. This is the first payment he paid when he packed in. You know what? One Step out. Down. Come to this side and have a look at it. I can let the two of them reconcile. This is the first payment okay. which he paid when he packed in 2019. Okay. After this, they didn't pay anything again. He said, that gives me 5000 today or 10000 I want you to reconcile oh, so the figure. this is the only one which you paid. That no, day. no. You know what? Right now, yes, the two of you are not addressing me. Is huh? the two of you I want... Let me have more. Is the two of you I want to discuss and reconcile? Show him. Let him know. Show him okay, the Mr. record. Bester, the breakdown. This is... This, the, this year, this is this how is much you money pay. This is what is outstanding. Three years. 169000 When you packed in. Three years. Yes, 2019. This is the only money you transferred. The others were 5,000, 10,000, as the case was. When we calculated it in your witness house, Mr. John, with all your accumulation, that's how we got the balance of 300. Those are the ones you denied. No, listen. Let me, you have to talk. This is the one you paid to me. Mm. Then later you paid. This is the ones you accepted. What mm -mm. You collected? He's not saying this is all. Listen to him. You, you, your learning skill have to improve. Oh. He's saying... This was paid direct into the account. There are others you made payment of like five, ten. I mean, that's what I can hear. I'm not standing there. And he said, you had somebody that was there that you record, they reconciled account together. But what I expect you to even ask him is like, okay, now this is 169. The one you are claiming I further paid to you by installment of five and you know those various sum. How much is that? That's what you should ask first. Add it to that. Then you now be talking about the balance. That's where you have the the disagreement over. Your Honor. Yes, please. Sorry to say it before this court. This young man, I'm disappointed. There's no young man in court here. You are age mates. Uh, this man. Do you here, understand? Before the court, there's my, equality the before the law. This my, Go back to your court. Go back to your dog. This my this my landlord before the court. I'm sorry that in a year, 365 days, I don't, I don't think whether that, that five days inside, he can speak truth in that five days. You are insulting him. The truth. And if he decides to insult you back, how will you Mommy, feel? that is the truth. You know the, you don't understand. The truth. If anything at all, let me tell you, because it's very easy for you to say somebody is lying. You, that you are talking, you have nothing on you. He's even the one helping you. If he did not bring this and you don't have any proof before the court that you have paid a dime, the court will award judgment for everything against you. So, in what way is he not saying the truth? He's saying, look, ordinarily, this is what somebody that is not honest or truthful will present before the court. All these other 5,000 and cool that you paid into his account or you gave to him that were not paid into the account, a crook will not accept to have collected it from you because he knows you cannot prove it that he collected that sum. So if there's anything, right in front of me, I'm seeing a honest and a man of God. You hear that? You are the one that your mindset is wrong. And you are putting on that stuff you are supposed to be a Christian. If there's anything at all, you should be happy that you have somebody before you 
that is even admitting to have collected money that you cannot prove you gave to him. So, what is your stand? You are claiming you have paid money. You cannot prove you have paid money to that person. Despite that that person is saying, you paid me. And you are saying there is no truth in that person's mouth. This last, what is the basis? Your, your Honor, man, this last year, he, he was talking, I had, I have with me the whole money that I gave him that list. What? This last year now. Speak out. I can't the, hear This you. last year. Okay. All the money that I gave to him, I, I recorded them down. because. Let me have it. I requested for it. So why are you wasting the time of the court since? This is the total. Only this. This is the total. You know what? what Step out there and let him show it to you. Just the way he did now. Okay, ma'am. This the record. One and five seven fifty. The money gave you last gave to you last year. The money gave to me the one ninety five seven fifty. Yes. What else you gave to me last year? Actually, I can't really vet all this, my lord. But if we add this to, it's not up to three years' rent. If we add what he's claiming. Well, let's even assume that money. you collected all the money here plus one and you six. this and collected this. It's still not up, up to, to three years' rent. So now, do you want us to take it that you actually collected this? I want to, I know, ma. Because How much is that? for Juma. 195 plus 196 370 something minus 750 how much is the total range 750000 my lord i think it's even more than what i'm even asking uh, 50000 you collected from from Flint station where is the money the what my lord how much is that i don't the you collected from from uh, uh, Conway. my uh, lord i've not assessed what did you write it there you didn't write those ones. Why didn't you I'm, write I'm it? Not what last year own. I'm not even assessed. You are year. supposed to compile everything. When you are coming Order. to court, you come with evidence. Time. You don't come here and talk. You, come, you, saw, you see the way it printed. I'm glad you have that there. But why didn't you complete it? And for you, he said he gave you one way. Which filling station or where did you say? Conway. <coughs> did you collect money there? Can you remember the sum? My lord, I collected fifty thousand at Cold Oil. Why I said is I the fifty thousand here? Why I said oh I want to accept it, my lord, mm -hmm. is because what you wrote here, I've not been able to look at look at it, but they are off. Most of them are not true. This is what we accepted with John. Now. This is what you accepted with John. That, bro, that John, you said you brought as my middleman. This is what you have accepted with him now. Who There's brought John as a middleman? No, him. John. Uh, Who is John? John? Is his witness. John brought him to me. You are the one that brought John as my witness. <laughs> Sir, this is the agreement, please. Let me have a look at the agreement. Please. I don't want to call John as my This is witness. John, please show my lord. Do you remember the kind of this thing when it was signed? The sign of the size of prayer, John, that. Let me wrote. wait. This is an agreement. Every agreement you have signature of the landlord and signature of the tenant. So, who is John to you? John is a friend of his family. Okay. Then How did you meet him? I knew him from the church. From the church? Yes. Okay. Because what I have here... And everything, so in my, uh, uh, your honor, man, everything you want to do, he will tell you that John has been with the family, with the mother for over 20 years. So if John is not involved, even while... He want to sell property. He will say, John, we, 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 if you do not call John, that there will be no business. Okay. Because John witnessed for you. And one Chimama de Mano witnessed for, for him. You have something to say? What is that? The honor man. The, he, he doesn't, let me say, he comes off now to collect money from my house. Whether it's passing road or anywhere, you understand it. So to to record it, 
I, I was dealing on trust with That's him. what I'm with telling you. Trust. Subsequently, you've made all this mistake now. If actually you made the mistake. But subsequently, it's not done that way. It doesn't even have to be tenancy issue. You make payment for anything. If you don't get receipts, make sure you have evidence of payments. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. That's the way it should be. Because if you can't prove that you've made such payments, it will be taken that you have never made that payment. I made a mistake, ma'am. All right, man. I'll come back to that. So what's the second issue? Nepa bill. You raised the issue of Nepa bill. So I wanted to address him with that. I came there, I never knew he was not paying Nepa for many years. So there was no Nepa, uh, uh, not like there. And I went to Nepa to uh, know how I would get light because I was calling him. He started to go and sit with them. When the Nepa people were calling him to come because he, he, he was owing them close to 300,000. How much? 200, and added 200 is something that he was owing them. He refused to come. He said, I should tell the people that he traveled. Mm -hmm. Why he was, he was here. And he you was. told the Nepa that? So. I, didn't, I can't lie for him now. So he what happened? Then, then I, 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 even water, the water he's supposed to put for me there. I, I spent over 15,000 in his hand, not, as, not that I called a walk outside, in his own hand to put water for myself. I spent about for something thousand before Nepal would give, give me life there. Give me proof. Hmm. Oh, wow. Why I don't have the, the proof is that I, I, the first one I paid, the, the letter came and cut and carried the wire and go. This, I now have to go in that one. This one, there's no record for that one again. The first one that had record, where is it? So that I'll be sure you are not telling lies. It, it will be, be my bill, Nepal bill. The, 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 the first one from the amount it was owing. So why didn't you bring it? I didn't know it would come. Well, you remember to bring this. If you did not bring anything at all, I'll say, okay, you are not even aware. You don't even know what to bring to court. But you brought this. So that shows you know you need to show evidence. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse before the law. That is it. So if you can't prove the NEPA, I can't address it. Which other matter? Move to the next one. We are talking about water. The water. But what about water? The water. I I spent five hundred thousand in his hand. I gave him thirty thousand. Any amount you spend, just give me the proof. That is all. Give me the proof. He is the proof now. He's the proof now. Annoying me. Proof. Annoy me. So He's the living a, proof now. You have nothing to prove on that. Okay. So, I want you to calculate how much is involved on the rent. And, and another thing, you can't tell me that everything on that list is false. Are you saying everything there is false? My Lord, I have my reasons. I presently cannot, is, cannot remember to vet everything you wrote since they are not recited. June last year, to be precise, we sat together and he brought everything, all the money he claimed, and we balanced it. That's how we got the 339,000, which I initially was claiming 450,000. And I said, if you are claiming you, you can, you, I'm, I mean, if you're claiming you owe me 339,000 naira, 339,750, pay that and let me, I'll let the matter close. I agreed. That's what he, he that's what he brought. I didn't debate that with him. So I'm surprised he was saying 50,000. And to prove it, I had a screenshot of where he wrote it. It's Let here. me have a look at it then. Wow. You see the power of evidence? Please, show my Lord. And can the date where I, I can get, check it. That's the screenshot of his own calculation, my Lord. I was claiming 450, but that is exactly what he's owing me. But he reduced it to 339,750. And since that day, ma, he has not paid me one naira. I will look at it. Have you seen that paper before, Mr. Sylvester? At least you're a Christian. Look at it. If you have not seen it, tell my Lord I'm lying. You are a Christian. Look at it and tell me the truth. He 
chuck. The defendant, Obiora Sylvester, claims he made several unreceipted payments to Augustine that were not accounted for. Unfortunately, Sylvester does not have proofs for the total sum that he claims to have paid. However, he insisted that 56,000 Naira is all he owes at this time. The landlord, Iwelu Augustine, has shown an evidence of account reconciliation that substantiates the fact that the tenant had consented to 339,750 overdue rent. This matter is unfolding as Judge Fumi continues to cross-examine both parties. This case continues next week. You wait in the same place. You now turn this and I now turn everything against me because you threaten me. From where? Yes. Well, you, 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 an anambra man, night. That you show me an that you're an anambra man. I don't know what Austin, I what that means. Austin, you can Mr. Eat. Sylvester, I won't give you five months. Now it's my time. Please. All the money you collected from me, you denied all of them because I didn't write them down. Now I'm not. You are begging somebody to extend your time to you. You are still saying all this. Sorry. You really have wisdom. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. Man. You called my house, your second house home before. Why? Why? Why do you? Why Order. Do you why are you doing like this?